Welcome to Plastered's War Dialer job. This one is probably, to me, one of the hardest jobs to optimize, but in the whole game for me. It took me almost a straight whole day of dying. <laughs> I was miserable trying to get this da this histogram down to the bottom. And this is why I originally didn't want to try optimizing, because I knew that this would be awful. This job was is my punishment for deciding I was going to do it anyway. Uh, this one, it was hard to come up with a really efficient method to do it, but I'm glad that we finally did. I'm going to go through it with you. Thankfully, it's not as complicated as it could be. Uh, the, the trick for it was a bit clever. Uh, I definitely got some help from a couple people's other solutions that were posted online, and I modified it to work in my solution here. And it's, it's, it's nice how, how fast it runs, but it, it, this was still just a process. But enough about my pain, let me, let me talk about the solution. Uh, so XB, his entire role is, I guess I should talk about what the whole, the whole premise of the, of the job is before I go into what the solution is. Uh, we've done jobs like this before where we have a phone, there, there's a dial register that my camera's covering, but there's eight different networks or phones that we have to connect to here. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna dial phone numbers here and check to see if we've connected. The goal is to find all of the numbers that will connect to these eight different uh, phones, target phone numbers, yeah. Uh, we're not just blindly trying 11 digit numbers though. Uh, we have a template here in file 300 that has between one and three placeholders. There's never more than three placeholders. That's very important because this job would take much longer if there could be more than three. Uh, the, the starting case has three. Uh, and what we basically have to do is try every combination of numbers that fits in this template. So X's, the X's could be all zeros, the X's could be all nines. Uh, and we have to try all those numbers, find which one, ones of them work, and write them down in file 300, and we have to write them er, in file 301, and we have to do it in an in order. It has to be an incrementing order, so if the, if the numbers are 555 and 444 for filling in the X's, the 444 needs to come before 555 in the list, so we can't just randomly try numbers, we have to, we have to check them into order. Uh, or, or I guess you could sort them afterward, but who's gonna do that? So, here's what, so XB is going to grab file 301 and his entire job is basically to retrieve the numbers that are coming in and to track how many numbers it gets in. So it's going to count down to until it gets eight of them because there are eight connections that we have to make. Execution agent A is going to be doing the logic for the dialing and the incrementing of the numbers that we're testing. And this is where the, the clever part of the, of the solution comes in. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, we are going to go through the numbers here and look for the placeholders. And we're going to count how many steps it takes us to get there. Uh, so you'll see that once we reach the first placeholder, it took us seven steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then seven is starting at the beginning. We need that extra number for the what we're going to use it for. So it's seven steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to replace that X there with 70. The the tens and potentially the hundreds if it's a long if it's a near the end of the file for some reason. I guess if there's one placeholder and it's at the very end, then yes, that would that would give you a multi-digit uh, number of steps here. But it's seven steps, and then the, the the ones digit is a zero. The ones digit is where is the number we're actually going to dial. This one's a placeholder. It's a surprise tool that will come in handy later. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. So it's only it's two steps for this one, the, the number before it and then the number itself. So that's going to get replaced with 20. And then the next one is going to be four steps total. So that's going to be 40. So the number here, one, two, or the number here, two, three, four, 40. Then at the very end of the file, we're going to put uh, how many steps it is from the end of the file. Uh, which is including the the one the number that we just added so from the very end of the file it's going to be minus two steps one two steps to get back and that's what we're that's what we're using these numbers for these numbers are telling us how many steps back is it to our to the next placeholder from the beginning so the 70 is actually not important well let's let's start let me get, let me go through the logic i know this is this is a little weird and in order to make this efficient we had to be a little weird but it's it's brilliant the way that this works so 
let's let's it's easier to show by doing. So we're going to jump in and we're going to dial our first number. We're going to start at the beginning of the file. We're going to dial our numbers uh, for these ones that have placeholders. We are specifically doing Swizz F1 into dial. So we're always grabbing the f the the f the ones place digit and dialing it. We're not grabbing any of the the tens or hundreds place digits. We're only grabbing the the rightmost digit of each number and dialing that in. So we're going to end up dialing zeros and where each of our three placeholders were. You know, remember that the 70, the 20 and the 40 are were our placeholders. So we end up dialing our number in and then we create a tester whose entire job is to try and connect and see did that work uh, obviously it didn't there's there's a thousand numbers that we're trying here so that didn't work uh and what i do is i grab this extra number here the this number of placeholders and we hold we grab that into our x for a second we check to see did you succeed uh, and since you didn't succeed, we now need to increase the numbers. We need to basically turn this into uh, 70, 20, and 41, because then we want to we want to dial the next digit for our placeholders. So what will happen is, since we have minus two, we can just tell it seek on X. That'll put us right over our first placeholder, and we will copy that number in there, uh, and we will increase it by one, and then. Uh, grab the first digit so we know what the, the ending t the ending digit of it is. So we just grab the one. We'll hold on to that for a second. Uh, and we copy 41 into the place here. And we know that we don't need to increment any of these other ones because this has not cycled over to zero. So we only want to increase this to 21 once this has gone from 42, 43, up to 49, and then to 50. Once this hits 50, we need to keep the four because that's important for our placeholders. So we'll cycle from 49 to 50 and then immediately back down to 40 because we need to hold that four. And once we do that cycle down, we need to go and then update this here to become 21 so that we end up dialing, you know, 0, 1, 0 or 10 from our thousand numbers that we're doing. So now he's going to go through and he's going to dial the next number. Check our tester. That didn't work. So now we're going to use our saved minus two. Go here, grab 41, increase it by one and put it into 42. We're going to continue this. I'm going to I'm going to do this a few more times up until we hit that 49. So now we're going to copy 49. We're going to add one and it becomes 50. Uh, but the first once it's become 50, we subtract 10 from it and then we copy it in. Then uh, I will grab the four. That was here. That's that's our map telling us how many steps we have to get jump back to get to the next placeholder. Uh, it's four steps back from here. So from here, one, two, three, four. And now that's going to put us right over our next placeholder. Then we'll just repeat the process that we did before. We will grab the di we will grab it. We'll increment it by one, and then we'll check to see did we hit a 10 like did we hit a multiple of 10? Did we write a zero in there? And it, we didn't. So now we just go and we dial the next number. And it's it's this is very beautiful the way that this works. And so now this is going to keep incrementing until this cycles up past 49 to 50. Let me see. It's going to go all the way here and then that's going to become 40 again. And then that's going to end up getting incremented to 22. This will also repeat the process over here. Once this cycles up from 29 to 30, that's going to increase this to 71. And the 70 is not important because there are no other placeholders to the left of this. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about any kind of logic there because by the time that this has finished cycling past 79 up to 80, we will have tried every possible number. Once this cycles, we would then be duplicating numbers. So we never have to worry about any kind of test to make sure that we've cycled past this. This is never good. This is going to hit nine and it would should never hit zero. We should have found all the numbers by then. Uh, so that's what ends up happening is we, we dial in these numbers and we increment the placeholders one at a time uh, and we use the tens place digit or I guess it could be the hundreds place again if it's if it's like a single placeholder at the end this could end up being like a, a 10 102 instead of a instead of 42 it could be 102 to go all the way back um, but yeah we we go through all these numbers until we find one that succeeds I guess we just had one that succeeded 
uh, and it got written down. Let me go to another case of that happening. I didn't even realize that I had found a number so low that did that. So we go until we, once again, find a number that works. Uh, once we have realized that that one works, we quickly just send over that number to XB to write it down. And then we we go back to our increment and we hang up the phone. We only need to hang up the phone if we have found a successful connection. Uh, and then we increment our number again. And XB is going to continue until uh, it's gotten in eight total numbers. It's gotten two so far. So I will let this run. Taking in numbers. Let's see how long it takes. So this is a very long job. Uh, so now we have four numbers, five numbers, six numbers. Two more. We're getting up there in, in our our numbers here. You'll see we've hit 77, we've hit 78. This will never hit 80, thankfully. Uh, we have now gotten all eight of our numbers. So what we know is that we are done. We don't need to dial any more numbers. So XB is like, okay, I've got all eight of my numbers and it's gonna, it's gonna kill XA because we do not need uh, XA to keep dialing any numbers. Uh, we're going to drop our file and we're gonna wipe 300 because we don't need that. And then we're gonna grab 301 and head back with it. And we're done. Uh, this job was just, it was pain to get this optimized down to where I where I wanted to and on that histogram. Uh, but this trick of saving into our placeholders, you'll see this one. This one doesn't even have a need for the placeholders because there's only or a need for our offsets here because we already just have one placeholder. That's never going to end up being used because we only have to try some numbers. So let me um, let me just fast forward this one to the end and then we'll look at the next case. Number three, I'm hoping for one that has two placeholders here. Two placeholders. He'll see just... This guy is four steps back. Because after you read F to get that, you'll be here. And then you'll have to take four steps to get back to the next placeholder. One, two, three, four. Use storing that offset in the file here was the, the key to making this much more uh, rapid fire in terms of shooting out those numbers. Uh, because it, I knew that if I wanted to get the cycles down in this job, I had to be using a, a rep 11 to dial the number out. Uh, doing some kind of a T loop here was tripling the amount of time it took me to, to cycle out these numbers. And if there are a thousand numbers that I have to try, uh, tripling the amount of times that we have to, like the amount of steps per number, greatly increases your cycles quickly. Just doing a T loop instead of this, I'm at 24,000, I think, on average for this one. I'm gonna let this run because this will take a while to run. Uh, 24,000, multiply it by three, you're already pushing 70,000 cycles. So I knew that I needed to figure out a way to get the uh, this in a rep 11 to get those numbers dialed out as fast as possible. Uh, and once I had figured out, okay, how am I gonna handle incrementing at that point? Uh, the, that offsets trick was brilliant. Uh, I, th I wish I remembered who originally like inspired me. They did something different the way that they had done it. Uh, they had stored like the offsets, I think, at the end of the file and used those to like jump back and then went back to the end and then got the next offset to jump back to the next one. But I figured just saving it in place would be the, the trick. Uh, but yeah, this is... This was a hard job to optimize. And if you're if you're able to figure out how to get this one optimized, it is very satisfying. The only problem is it's a, it, this is the longest job to test to see if you actually got your cycles down. Because as you saw, it, I was talking here and it took me like a good minute or two just for that to finish running through. Now, imagine it takes three times as long because your cycles are up at like this. The hundred thousand pushing range here where most people ended up being it takes a while to run this one. Uh, but that was the war dialer. We got it down. We were able to find our uh, our eight numbers that fit these templates. Uh, after this video, I hope that I never have to open <laughs> this job again because I spent a whole day, miserable day on it, time that I did not have <laughs> to waste on this. But there you go. That's the war dialer. Hopefully it was interesting to you on that one because that one, okay. I, I need to stop talking about this one. <laughs> I'm going to the next job.